what we've been talking about this. Our forecast is becoming fact. You're seeing it uh, unfold before your very eyes. This week, General Motors announced they're laying off 15,000 salaried positions, closing seven production plants. Ford announced the week before that they were closing out their sedan sales, the family car. They're not going to make family cars anymore. They're going to make trucks and vans and uh, SUVs, but no more cars, no family cars. You're seeing Chase announce in the financial industry that they're laying off 10,000 workers. We're seeing trouble overseas with Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank's just been uh, having all kinds of problems. And of course, their stock has dropped to all time lows and they're a systemically important bank. And they're in trouble with like $44 trillion in derivatives, interest rate derivatives. We're seeing oil drop from $77 and today it broke below $50. Now, it closed over 50, but it broke under under $50 for the first time in a long time. So these are classic signs that things are uh, are slowing down. And of course, in my business, in real estate business, we have eight months in a row of declining home sales. And behind declining home sales is declining home prices. And we're just starting to see that in some of the uh, more aggressive markets across the country that have really... Uh, uh, gotten a little carried away, gotten, got ahead of themselves. They're starting to reduce prices pretty dramatically. So we're seeing autos, energy, real estate, and rising interest rates in the banking industry all struggling. So we've been talking about this. So you should be in a very strong cash position at this point. Now, if you're not, then you should talk to your financial advisor and find out what's going to be prudent for you. We've talked about the fact that you're the traditional investments of stocks and bonds are both hugely at risk. So you need to talk to your financial advisor again and find out what is prudent. You do not need to be 100% invested 100% of the time. Now, my business, we're still cash flowing. So we're down to those properties that are our core properties. We've gotten rid of all the marginal properties and we're down to core properties. So these are the ones we're going to hold. And they, of course, produce cash flow for us, good cash flow. These are properties that really are easy to rent. They're in good shape. And we're going to hold these, and they're producing significant cash flow. So when we go through a slowdown, we're still going to have money coming in. We're going to be just fine. Now, if you need cash flow, we still have opportunities that we can do that. We're not deploying all our capital because we believe that the real estate business is just going to be a correction in an ongoing bull market. Our timing model shows the fact that once we get through this, now that could be 18 to 24 months from now, once we get through that, we're gonna see significantly higher prices on the other side. So it's actually pretty exciting for us. We're, we're uh, expecting to get through this just fine. If we can help in any way, please let us know and we can brainstorm as to be what's very best for you. It's my best, bye-bye now. <laughs>